Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic game played by Soviet chess grandmaster Eduard Gufeld. His opponent is Estonian chess player Udo Tarve and this game was played in 1969 in Tallinn. Gufeld had white pieces and he opened up with e4, Tarve responded with e5 and we have the Vienna game, knight c3, knight f6, bishop c4 and knight takes e4. The idea is that now if knight takes e4 then black can play d5, can win back the sacrificed piece and yes actually in this case black is actually managing to gain a slight advantage. That's why after knight takes e4 white is playing queen h5, this is the main theoretical move which we see in our game. Already white is threatening checkmate in one, that's why black moves back his knight on d6. In here white is either playing queen takes e5 check and then is going for an exchange of queens or is playing bishop b3. In our game we have bishop b3, bishop e7, knight f3, black castles, king side and h4. An aggressive move by Gufeld and here is how he comments his move in his book Chess the search for Mona Lisa. Gufeld writes, keep in mind that each tempo is now worth its weight in gold. I decided to keep my king in center and launch an immediate attack. Knight c6 was played, this time we have knight g5, white is creating a direct mating threat, h6 and another powerful move this time, queen g6 with the threat of queen h7 checkmate. Bishop takes g5 is forced, otherwise if move like h takes g5 then h takes g5 is coming and black king is in a mating net. That's why after queen g6 we have bishop takes g5, h takes g5, queen takes g5 and we have the exchange of queens on g5, d3, now white wants to win the pawn on g5 and after knight f5 we have it, bishop takes g5, knight d4, knight d5, knight takes b3 and instead of recapturing on b3, Gufeld came up with a fantastic idea and he played knight f6 check. Look at this move guys. G takes f6 was played and we have bishop takes f6, white has created a direct mating threat. Knight g7, the only move and we have a takes b3. Here is what Gufeld writes. Black is a piece up but he's completely helpless against the simple plan of doubling rooks on the edge file. Although I have to tell you that from the angie's perspective this position is equal. Here of course playing a move like d6 can be met with king d2 and then rook h4, rook h1. That's why after a takes b3 black played rook e8, black wants to kick away the bishop from this active square. That's why we have g4, the g pawn is coming to support the bishop, we have g5 and b6, after which black's position collapses very quickly. Instead of playing b6 it was better to offer an exchange of rooks and if rook c1 then Black can go for an exchange sacrifice and get rid of the dark squared bishop and then play knight e6. The engine evaluates the position as equal, but in our game after g5 we have b6 and now let's see how will Gufeld realize his advantage. Here we have king e2. With this move white is connecting his rooks and is making doubling up the rooks easier. And also white wants to meet bishop b7 with f3 in order not to allow black to control this essential h1 square. e4 was played and this time we have d4. As mentioned above white wants to keep the long diagonal closed. e3 and f3 is on the board. d5 and finally we have it rook h4 is on the board. Bishop a6 check, this time we have c4, d takes c4 and rook h1, yes, white managed to gain that precious tempo and rook h1 is on the board, we have a direct mating threat. c3 discovery check but after king d1 Udo Tarve resigned, if c2 check then king c1 and there is no way to escape from the mating threat. Black King is getting checkmated. This is one of the possible lines. That's why after King D1, Black resigned. A very beautiful chess miniature, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. 
In the end, we'd like to ask you to solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position, which is taken from a game played between Sebastian Meize and Ivan Cheparinov. This game was played at 2019 European Chess Championship. In this position, Ivan Cheparinov, who was playing with black pieces, made a move and white resigned. Please post a video, find the winning move for black and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video, take care.